Hey guys, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Heroes content. This week, I'm suddenly playing Aether Raids again. I haven't tried doing Aether Raids content in several months, but here we are. I just decided that this might be an interesting week to record my matches for, uh, for a couple reasons. There are a couple things that make this week a little more interesting. Uh, for one, I'm really hoping to summon Dogger at the end of this month, so this may be one of the last times where I'll be uh, roughing it in light season with only five units. Yeah, for ever, ever since Dogger came out, I've just been down one slot on my light mythic team, and it's just been terrible this entire time. <laughs> I would say about half the time I can just kind of get lucky and stay in Vault of Heaven regardless, but yeah, it's still not fun. Also, Fjorm is a bonus unit this week, so that kind of makes things interesting, too, because I actually have her. You'll notice I'm actually not starting on the first day of the week, I'm starting on the third day, because I decided to do this, like, partway through the week, and also this way we can just save time. I'm going to cut back to my past self, and then he will explain the teams, and we'll get started. Let's take a look at the teams, because they are slightly more competent than usual. So my first team, this is just the Duo Altina team, pretty much that's all there is to it. I like to have one team where, just in case they don't have Duo's Hindrance, I can just choose this team, and I'll have a pretty big advantage in that case. She's paired with Flane, uh, Air, Peony. Oh yeah, so these are, my, these are my only Light Mythics, by the way. Peony and Air. That is literally it, uh, it for me. Never got Mila, Freya, Ular, Dogger, none of them. I've been stuck with these two. And they're good, but I mean, Mila in particular would have been really nice. Anyway, uh, here's Fjorm. She doesn't even have an assist skill yet, so I gotta work that out. Uh, also, Fjorm struggles against a duo lift, so realistically, I should give her a new seal. I might do that before the next match, but. I don't want to go through and redo everything right before this first match here. This second team features Ashnard. Ashnard is kind of new, and he is pretty good so far. He obviously has his Gergerant, which lowers attack and defense. That's paired with attack defense, Rhine, uh, Rain. Quicker post two because I'm epic, and defense res catch really should be replaced with... Um, an A slot skill that grants guard, so like Steady Stance 4 or Sturdy Stance 3. But for now, I'm just rolling with this. Uh, yeah, it's fine. This team also has Black Knight, mostly just because I didn't know who else to put here. I guess I could put Flame here, but I think I already have another Ashnard team, right? Oh, I guess not. Okay, well, I'll consider that for next time. <laughs> Yeah, I think Flane would be pretty good on this team with uh, with these two. I think I usually have Flane on Astra, and that's why I'm not used to uh, having her here. Anyway. Next team. So we are, in fact, in win season, which means Makaya is uh, fair game. So here is her build. It's not anything too special. I didn't think too hard about it. I still need to give her a new A-slot uh, skill, but I think for Aether Raids, Fury 4 is actually pretty good. But honestly, Micaiah isn't even, like, the most important part of this team. It's really just Gatekeeper and Fjorm. So basically, you put Gatekeeper out in front to tank Note, and then everything else tries to hit him and gets intercepted by Fjorm. It's pretty simple. Realistically, this team would be, would be better, maybe, if I had Flane here instead of Micaiah. But then I wouldn't have Micaiah, so... Uh, we're not gonna use this team, it's bad, and... <laughs> This is the Fallen Adel Guard team, which speaks for itself, I think. So, I want to get going, frankly. Alright, what have we got here? I haven't even used a ladder yet, which is very atypical for me. Not only are my light teams, like, not that good, but also, uh, I'm just not that good at Aether Raids. Uh, this team doesn't seem too bad. Their fortress, uh, they don't have the bonus building, so this really should be a freebie. If I botch this, then that's pretty embarrassing. 
May as well keep it simple. So we're just going to run over them with Edelgard, and that's it. Uh, let's see, so I have to be a little careful about my positioning because... Uh, I probably don't actually, but... Okay, I shoved Flane here because I actually want her on this space right here instead of this space. Uh, that way she can grant her buffs to Edelgard. And then I should be able to do this. So this could probably be done better because now Edelgard's going to lose her transformation next turn. But I am a fallen Edelgard gamer. I didn't come here to think. Ryzen tries to hit me. Interesting. Reinhardt goes straight for Fjorm. Zephiel comes and attacks me. I'm kind of glad he got up in there uh, on the first turn because he could have been not annoying, but I would have had to go get him otherwise. Okay, so now, of course, we've just reached a point where I, I just have to make sure I get the pots. Real quick, I will say, I think Maribel's uh, Refine has some potential in Aether Aids, both in, uh, both in offense and defense, so it's kind of cool seeing it here. I've been meaning to try this, personally. Out of my way. I think for now, I'm just going to try and get Maribel down here. Yes. Away we go. Okay, well that was really easy. <laughs> like I said, like half the time I can stay in uh, Vault of Heaven just through sheer luck. So there we go, there's our first match. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and record the rest of my matches for the rest of the week, and uh, we'll see how we do. We're back for day two. Uh, I guess it's really day four of the season. I guess we can check our defense results. Uh, doing badly, I suppose. So, one thing with my defense team is I forgot to update it. Because I'm not supposed to have Azura here. Uh, since it's not water season, I usually switch off uh, this exact team. But it needs to be updated anyway. I actually don't know what this person did. It looks like they did like a Fae meme, which is interesting. Also, Ophelia on offense is kind of interesting as well. Yeah, because he inflicted a uh, gravity on Mia. So I think Mia. Mia, I think she usually kills Fjorm. I don't want to say usually, but I think her matchup against Fjorm is like not even that bad. Because she activates Luna, uh, Fjorm. Oh, actually, Fjorm does have guard, so I guess not. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I mean, as long as you can, if you can prevent Mia from moving, then that's gonna make a big difference. Olwyn dies, Triandra dies, but notably Triandra dealt a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm just saying. Keeping Faye back. Oh, here comes Mia. Mia almost got the kill. Oh, she did get the kill. Well, there you go. Validates what I said earlier. <laughs> and then he just wins. One thing with my team is that, like... You know, sometimes when you play Aether Rights offense, you leave yourself in, like, an awkward position where, like... There's one unit left on defense, and they're like, maybe they're a cavalry unit, and it's just kind of hard to maneuver around them to get the pots. Uh, my defense team has, like, the complete opposite of that, where, like, usually the last unit standing is Sephirin, and obviously he's pretty easy to play around. As you can see, this person is just gonna do whatever they want to get my pots. Yeah, okay, we get the point. <laughs> Realistically, I should have played Sephiran with, like, literally any other. Like, a cavalry healer would, would, be, would, would be better. It was just that I never got, like, a second copy of Odd Recovery, so... Maybe on the upcoming Double Seasonal Banner. I don't know if this video is going to come out before or after that, but I predicted that uh, Hilda and Saul will be on that banner. 
And they actually have odd and even recovery, which is kind of cool. Anyway, that was a lot of Ether Raid's defense content. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> as far as the offense teams go, I made two changes. Uh, Fjorm has Swap. Really broke the bank for that one. And this team now has Flane instead of Black Knight. Let's see what we can do. Apparently I don't have Flyer School. Why would I not have Flyer School? Oh, because I changed my defense team. BLN indeed. Okay, so right off the bat, my first thought is the Gatekeeper team, because they only have three melee units, and two of them are lances, so Gatekeeper is just going to hold them still for the most part. Also, Hell is here, but we're not worried about her. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I think Fjorm has okay matchups against all these guys, although... They are each, like, kind of individually pretty threatening. Like, Lith is kind of a problem. Uh, Python, I'm less, I'm less sure about Python. It looks like he has Guard. I think the hardest part here is trying to get into position. At least it would be, uh, that would be the case if not for Fjorm having far save. Uh, so let's actually, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's fuck around and find out. <laughs> Yeah, so since we have Fjorm, we can just kind of line up our guys here, and uh, that's basically all we have to do. Um, I could actually move her up a space. Um, I might do that, actually, because if I don't move her up to this spot right here, then, um, I don't know. Then I kind of lose the first turn, because it, then safe defense activates, and then nothing really happens. If I initiate, or if I bait them on the first turn... Fjorm is definitely in more danger in that case. Also, I forgot to update her seal. She should probably have a Mystic Boost instead, realistically. Okay, I'm going to rethink my strategy slightly. I just want to make sure Lyf dies, and Makaya has the better matchup in that case. So we're going to do like this. And yeah. So we're going to hide Fjorm, basically. And, uh, or air? Did I say air? I meant air. We are gonna end up losing this first turn. Because of safe defense. Oh, this here's pretty annoying, actually. That's unfortunate. Here comes Lyft. Lyft dies. Everyone takes damage. Here comes Hell. Oh, nice. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, if Python was still around threatening me on this on the third turn here, that would have complicated things for sure. Okay, well that actually helps quite a bit. I'm still stuck because of these traps. Like these traps are really threatening me right now. To be honest. We're going to keep it Reporting simple. Good morning. Lady Niffle. Okay, I think this is fine. Yes. You know what I might end up doing, actually? Like, just to help me get the pots, I might activate one of these on purpose. So I can do some warping shenanigans. Air has Lom, and of course, Peony has it too. Caress. Peony is dead, that's good. Oh shit. Okay, that is pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Where to today? Yeah, and Gatekeeper's matchup isn't even that good against uh against you. Let's see, it's turn four already, we're running out of time. Uh <laughs> Reporting for duty. This is a frequent problem for me in case you couldn't tell. Alright, well I have kind of an idea. We can warp Fjorm over here. She doesn't get the kill and she takes so much damage! That's upsetting. Why do, Why does she take so much damage? Oh, because you have bonus doubler. Oh, that's really annoying. Protect you. Attack plus 11. I guess she's activating her special, too. Lady Niffle. 
Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and smite Micaiah. Micaiah is now in play. Um, repositioning Peony here might be safe because of far save. But yeah, cause no. I think no attacks gatekeeper here, and then she doesn't get danced. I think that's what's gonna happen. Ready and waiting. I'm playing a, a little bit more aggressively and a little dumber because I'm running out of time. Uh oh. That wasn't gonna work regardless. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? We baited Eldigan with Peony. It, this was all planned, I assure you. Uh, really good Ether Raids gamer, actually. Where to today? Gatekeeper has drawback. I have two turns to spare, so definitely the difficult part is going to be uh, getting this pot over here. Greetings. Oh, far save. That's right. Gross. <laughs> By the way, this Raphael is slightly interesting. Fifty-four defense, spendthrift bow. I'll protect you. Reporting for duty. You know, I bet... No, Fjorm... No, there's no way Fjorm kills on retaliation, right? If anything, she'll die herself because of Bold Fighter. Where to today? Good morning. Let's see if we can activate this. Okay. Greetings. The glimmer of life. Can I use Gatekeeper to obstruct his movement? Those with two range cannot move through spaces within with two spaces of unit. Where to today? Right. But what if I put Gatekeeper like right next to him? What happens then? Reporting for duty. Okay, so effectively it's not really doing anything. Okay. Maybe this way. Nice, okay. Okay, so I guess the plan here is, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let Raphael, uh, I guess he'll just hit Fjorm. Yeah, because I can't, like, I have to keep Fjorm in range of Peony, so. Oh, okay. Now... How do I get the kill here? What's the plan? Greetings. Okay, I see it. Maybe this way. Where to today? There we go, we did it. For immersion. <laughs> that was very sloppy. I hope it was enjoyable at least. That's the way you have to play when you only have five units. What can I say? All right. Day three, parentheses, day five. We're back. How are we looking? Uh, looks like we got lucky. This person fought us and quit. So I think I do. Yeah, I saw this one. So usually Raven Tomes are actually pretty effective on my team because, uh, you know, my main attacker is Mia. Uh, definitely, like, red raven tomes usually do okay. Uh, that's why I have a note here with Wom, actually, but... Let's see what they do. This Ephraim is kind of interesting. I guess because he has close save, that's kind of the idea here. Yeah, Brave Ephraim's actually pretty good with his refine. Surprised I don't see him more often. I guess he just got totally, like, eclipsed by frickin' Brave Hector. The Leon obviously doesn't take any damage from from anybody except Mia. Mia survives, which is, which is interesting. And then Olin gets the kill, and I think he just quits after that. Yeah. So that's good for us. We have a failure here. Um, I, I can probably just look at his team and figure out how he won. <laughs> oh, we have a Yuri gamer. Interesting. And the game crashed, okay.
And we're back. The game crashed on me. Uh, I just want to take a look at this team again. <laughs> Let's see. Is this like a high investment to Ginsia? That's kind of cool. Close save to Ginsia. So, and I guess far save Henriette. Yeah. So save balls are pretty effective on my team as long as their far save tank can take Mia, obviously. Let's see what Mia does to Henriette here. Uh, pretty good damage overall, but yeah, not enough, obviously. Anyway, moving on from that, uh, I have made one change. I have redone this team here, so it's now just uh, basically a secondary Fjorm Ashnar team, but now also Hinoka is here. I don't even necessarily think that this is like a super optimal team, but like I keep hearing people say that Hinoka is like a good, uh, basically a good support partner for save balls, so may as well try it. Okay, this is kind of a theme team actually, a lot of FE4 and 5. Escape Root Unleaf, interesting. Duo Hindrance. Larsa, oh this Larsa is interesting, <laughs> Distant Foil. Okay, so I've been thinking about this, I, I'm a little unsure about Fallen Edelgard because Larsa is gonna initiate combat on her and Larsa has no follow-up and she has like null guard essentially so she's gonna attack twice and she's gonna activate gale force and she'll attack two more times and she has damage reduction so uh honestly edelgard might be fine even even still but uh we have red tanks anyway so we may as well use them uh definitely an ashnard team combined with someone Either Flane or Hinoka. I just have to choose which one. Well, I did start by talking about this team here, so maybe this will be interesting. If nothing else. Watch me just completely screw myself. One thing is, um, since Flane isn't on this team, I don't have ground orders, which will make it just a little harder to, <laughs> to situate Fjorm. Oh, you reach all the way down here. Oh, this is a Dancer F1 that doesn't have dance. Just pure offense F1. So I've decided that I'm gonna just put Ashnard here. I thought about putting him here. Oh, you can see my cursor, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I thought about putting Ashnard uh, here, but then if Larsa attacks and activates Gale Force, then that could cause some problems for whoever I have like down here. So we're just going to put everyone in position. Um, I may not be able to get these buffs onto Ashnard, although he does clear this 55 right here. Okay, so I was trying to do this in a way where I could get this uh, this close ward, or close guard onto Ashnard, but I don't see it happening here. I probably could have done it if I had just positioned better, but... Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put Hinoka here spur attack is the seal i chose and yeah yeah unfortunately i don't really see a way i can get the close guard on ashnard i also didn't get the buffs on him we'll see what happens i think with hinoka and ashnard we're inflicting like attack minus 13 on larsa during combat so that'll be interesting nice beautiful Leaf is kind of scary. Oh wow, we just shredded through his miracle effect. Okay, well I didn't expect this to go so well, I won't lie. Alright. Just gotta clean up now, basically. That was the hard part. And we get to use Hinoka. How often do I actually get to use Hinoka? Okay, well hold on. Yeah, Notes B slot skill doesn't actually have no follow-up on it, like, innately. Which is kind of interesting. That means that you can tank her with, like, Gatekeeper. 
and her and her follow up will get negated usually, unless un unless of course she she replaced her B slot. But anyway, um, let's try and do this in a way where Sigurd can't reach us. He put the pots right over here, which was very nice of him. <laughs> She does not have DC, so just shoot her in the face. That's all it takes. Time to fly. Don't complicate it. <laughs> the glimmer of life. I mean, I guess we can get close guard here. Okay, so... <laughs> I've been getting a little lucky this week. I will say that it's been a long time since I've been able to go this long in light season without uh, using a ladder. But yeah, here we are. No ladders. All right. Day four, parentheses, day six. Uh, we have a new defense result. I got walloped by this person. And... This was a little interesting because their close or their near save tank is uh the fact that Flame Emperor isn't that weird, it's the fact that they have Sack of Gifts as their as their weapon. I feel like at the very least, like huge fan would be way better, but whatever. I guess you don't need the acceleration on huge fan if you have Vengeful Fighter. But yeah, just by looking at this team, they got far save, they got near save. It's not surprising that they ran over my team. We can see what happens here. Mia largely ineffective against Fjorm. I guess what's kind of interesting is that Fjorm actually avoided the double there, which I did not expect. I guess because she has this and she has this. Probably some more speed boosting effects around here. Drive speed. Uh, Peony also has drive speed, so yeah. I gotta upgrade Mia's A slot skill. That's the real takeaway here. We need more speed, frankly. But yeah, from there, I don't think you need to see the rest. <laughs> they ran over me. That's all you need to know. Alright. On the offensive front, uh, I realized we have not encountered Sigurd yet, even though it's win season. I count myself lucky. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what the plan is if we do run into him. I can usually kill him with near save Black Knight, so maybe I should make a team with him. I'm not overly confident in Ashnard's ability to kill Sigurd, but maybe I should let him, uh, you know, just take a shot at it. Because if, if I'm going to be using Ashnard as, like, a tank, you know, for the foreseeable future, he is going to have to be able to kill Sigurd on retaliation. So let's just see what we got here. No Sigurd. Okay, this is an odd team <laughs> already. We have Bartra here. With his Axe of Virility, he gets Fury and Armor Effective, Attack Speed Push. Interesting. A lot of melee units on this team, which is interesting. And I don't see any uh, near save or far save shenanigans. So this is a... Uh, an odd team, for sure. I don't see any rally shenanigans here either. No rally traps. This is actually a team where if, uh, yeah, I could definitely do something with the safety fence. If I had a unit with disarm trap, I could definitely do something with that over here, for sure. I've been meaning to do that. I want to build like a disarm trap so Aretha Raids, but I don't have that ready right now. So I'm just thinking about this, and the real problem here is just Dusel. If I'm not careful, then Dusel will just be really annoying and kind of hard to kill. Um, I'm sure if I put someone like here, I guess he would initiate on me, and maybe his solo effects wouldn't be active, but. Yeah, he's going to be annoying, and I can't... I don't think I want to bring the Makaya team this time, although she probably could do it. Oh, actually, maybe that's actually the plan here. If I had, like, one more dancer on this team, that would be ideal, but... Makaya might actually be 
a play here. All right, screw it. <laughs> the way is shut. The way is shut. I don't hear gatekeepers' voice lines that often. Okay, if I had to guess which of these is the real trap, I would guess it's this one here. But even still, if it's this one, we should be okay. Yes. So, Good morning. the scenario where this becomes awkward is if Micaiah takes so much damage here. Okay, good, we're fine. <laughs> if Micaiah took so much damage that she uh, would have been in danger of dying to Triandra, then that would have been an issue. But she has so much res that I wasn't really concerned. Where to today? I would love to take this out, but... I think we'll be okay for now. Yeah, it's only 45 HP. Reporting for duty. Lady Niffle. Micaiah has her miracle charged. That's pretty cool. The one thing you need to look out for on miracle is that if you only have one HP left, it doesn't activate. Which, uh... Maybe I knew that before, but more recently it became more at the forefront of my mind because I've been running this Miracle build. Yeah, so if you have a unit like Micaiah who just shreds her own HP constantly, then um, you do need to look out for the fact that Miracle does not activate if you have 1 HP left. Maybe this way. But from here, uh, how do you have 2 move? Who gave you... Who gave you all that move? It was you, Surter. Okay, I see how it is. What's the plan? Gonna take this kill on Surter because I can. Good morning. Yes. Yes. Okay, we can kill Dusel right now. We should. For duty. Uh, oh, is your movement debuffed? It is, but it's okay, because I have an idea. Oh no! I can't use Smite. I... Oh no, don't tell me. Really? So, if I had Wings of Mercy 3 on air, then I'd be able to warp up here and smite Micaiah down. But... I'm cringe, so that's not what's happening here. Instead, I'm just going to have to use my dance. <laughs> it's fine. Good morning. I think we should try and kill Hell first, because she can fly over this lava. What's the plan? We are getting away with murder this week. <laughs> yeah, my AR offense matches have just not been that bad. I must say. Not a single Sigurd so far this entire week. But hey man, I'll take it. Any opportunity I get to use Legendary Micaiah, I'm, I'm happy. It is... Day 5, parentheses, day 7, and we are in dire straits. I have 47 minutes left to do this. Uh, I just got off work, so because of the daylight savings shift, uh, the arena season now ends at 6 o'clock, so on Monday from now on, I just have an hour to wrap up all my weekly arena stuff. Um, I did go ahead and um, I played one match, uh, off the recording just because I wanted to see if I could squeeze one in there like during my breaks at work and uh, I got lucky again it was a pretty doable team once more I took some screenshots so I'll put those on screen right now um, usually I would do the more honorable thing and uh, look for a team here but with 47 minutes to spare I'm gonna see if I can uh, find an easier one <laughs> um, we haven't, I don't think we have fought any Catria Balls this week. No. <laughs> uh, this seems okay. Note without 
like Wings of Mercy or no follow-up. That's not too bad. You know, I just realized having a an offense team here with uh, with Fey, Legendary Fey, could have been good. She's in season. This one could be doable as well. All right, let's do this one. Tier 37, so they're a pretty competent Aether Rates player, as evidenced by their team here. Okay. Our first Sigurd. I don't even think I have, like, a great counter for this. Moosebell is here. I don't think I've ever fought Moosebell on, uh, on on defense. No? Oh, this is interesting. There's no uh, duo hindrance. However, I am not confident in Altina's ability to vantage kill Sigurd. Otherwise, she might... Actually, yeah, otherwise, she might be okay. Um, okay, yeah, but I am I'm definitely looking at an Ashnard Fjorm team in this case. I think Ashnard is going to make this more doable, for sure. It's just a matter of who do we bring between Hinoka and Flane. Who's better? There's also a Fallen Needle Guard, but she kind of gets wrecked by uh, uh, anti-healing smoke on Sigurd, which I'm assuming he has. Yeah, Fatal Smoke. You know what? I think I'll bring Hinoka, because I want to make extra sure that Ashnard kills Sigurd. <laughs> Hinoka will boost our attack, and she will lower Freeze. his defense, so it's kind of a gamble. We do lose out on ground orders on this team, however. Okay, let's make this quick. <laughs> I have 47 minutes. I still have to do my arena run. <laughs> okay, I got like one arena run in there, but it's not enough to keep me in tier 21. So I wanted to see if I could redo it. Alright, so obviously first turn, Sigurd gets his extra movement because he's bullshit. Um, only one, no, two other melee units here. Do you get an auto follow-up? A side of combat if units HP grants blah for existing during combat. And a foe cannot recover HP during or after combat if units HP is greater than 25. Right, inflicts deep wounds. But only if he survives, I'm guessing. Um, I don't think he has anything that negates my follow-up. However, I'm not super confident that Ashnard can pick up that kill, truthfully. Debuffing his attack might help a little bit. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I don't have to, I don't, excuse me, I don't have to go for, um, for the pots, so that makes a big difference, too. I'm trying to be careful here. <laughs> I gotta do this in a way where Fjorm can cover everyone. Once again, I miss the buffs on Ashnard. I'm really good at ether raids, you guys, trust me. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> So who comes first? Sigurd? Zero times two? I will see it done. What does Holy Nut Aura do? 15. Wow. Noka's good. <laughs> so yeah, they get the extra movement. Oh god. That's spooky. Oh, Ashnar took a ton of damage there, didn't he? That's not good. Also, I actually forgot that I had um, animations on, so this is not deliberate. <laughs> Lena dies. Ashnard will only. Oh god! Is that a natural double? Ashnard is so pog. <laughs> we just. The only way we can lose now is if Note uh, gets danced by Sigurd. But I think Sigurd will attack us. Yeah. Wow. That so this was less me being a good player and more just Ashnard being a really good unit apparently. And this isn't even like his best version, frankly. Like defense res catch. I suppose it did come in handy this time because he needed the extra res against um Moose Bell. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is some merit to it after all. All right, well, now i got to figure out how to kill Note. <laughs> I don't think Ashnard is up to it. Oh, yeah, we also had a close uh, guard, in effect, on Ashnard. That that probably made a difference, actually, against Moosebell. Uh, it's so annoying. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just have to enemy phase her with um, 
with yes. Fjorm, then. I'll protect you. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, did she have damage reduction? Yeah, I don't, I don't need to see this. We did it! We did it! Let's let's let Hinoka get the kill. I already really liked Hinoka, so I think it's cool that we actually got to use her to pretty good effect this week. Well, alright. I'm also glad that we actually fought like a pretty competent team there at the end. Uh, of course, I cheesed it with far save, but but yeah, that's it. Uh, I I'm set in Vault of Heaven. So thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna go rush my arena runs now. Um, I'm definitely interested in doing more Ether Raids content. It's just I gotta figure out a way to do it that doesn't take so much time, because uh, the last time I did this like several months ago, uh, I just I did it in a way that took too long. <laughs> so. If I can, like, boil these down to, like, one video instead of three, like, one video per week, you know, uh, I'll figure it out. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next time. Hopefully, we'll have Dogger next time. <laughs>